Greetings, friends, and welcome to this time of guided meditation, a time of Lectio Divina, or divine reading. I'm Pastor Dale Peterson, coming to you today from my home in Chanhassen. We are no longer having in-person worship or small group meetings at church because of the COVID-19 pandemic numbers going so high. So um, we will be coming from different locations, but I, I welcome you to my home. I welcome you to this time of guided prayer, a time we call a time of humble selfishness. It's time for, for you in your relationship with God. It's all about relationship. Relationship with God, relationship with yourself, and a time to just rest and a time to breathe. I close my eyes for much of our session. That helps me to eliminate distractions and to focus on the internal, the inner work that we do in this spiritual exercise. But whatever is comfortable for you, some people like to keep their eyes open and maybe you gaze upon the fire behind me. Whatever it is that helps you to, to rest, to listen, to open your heart and your soul, your mind, and all your strength, the strength of your body to God, to receive, to be open, to listen. And so I invite you to get comfortable in your chair, to let your feet rest on the floor, let your body sink, and take some deep, full breaths, deep, full breaths. Inhaling to fill your lungs and fill your belly. And exhaling. Deep breathing helps us to move our thoughts from our head to our heart. To relieve stress. More and more studies are showing the value of meditation. And that's just the time for quiet, for rest. And so just let my voice be background. Let the spirit take you where it will. And rest. And breathe. Long, slow inhales. Inhales to receive God's grace and love and forgiveness. Exhales, courage and strength and hope. Inhale, power. Exhale, energy, life. It's this rhythm we we're born with, born into. Inhale, exhale, and rest. And we're now in contemplative, well-known Catholic priest, retreat leader and meditation guide. He used to say when he started praying or started into Lectio Divina that his thoughts would just scamper around like monkeys running up and down a banana tree. But as he would breathe, as he would rest, as he would open and listen to the spirit, one by one, those monkeys would drop off of the tree. His brain would calm. His spirit would settle. His focus would be on what the Spirit was bringing to his mind, to his heart, to his soul. And so, dear friends, I invite you to rest. I invite you to enter into silence. Let the Spirit speak. 
We do read in Romans 8 that the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express. And so with your sighs, oh, your prayers. We don't need words to pray. Prayer can just be allowing ourselves to be in the presence of God, to listen, and let the Spirit within us communicate with the Spirit of God. And we rest. And we listen. I return today to a psalm that is familiar to many of us. It may be new to you, or it may be familiar. Psalm 121. And as I read, I'll read the psalm through three times. Once just to get kind of the big picture, get the impression, get uh, sort of what you feel like the major points are. I'll make some comments after the first reading. And then the second reading, see if you can focus on an image, a thought, maybe a memory. Or maybe there's a nudge by the Spirit, something that comes to you. It seems to be the word for you today. Words or phrase, a memory, a thought. The third time through, focus in on that thought. Hear it again as it comes in the reading, let that word or image, that memory, that nudge, just settle into you, into your heart, into your soul. Let it sit, knowing that the Spirit works within us, things we can't see, we can't tell, and sometimes it takes a long time before the fruit to come, but these seeds are planted in our soul. And over time, as we feed them and water them, they grow. And we grow spiritually more settled, more confident, stronger, more sure, less anxious. The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express. And so rest. Continue to breathe. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The one who keeps you will not slumber. The one who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Good theology in this opening couple of sentences. The psalmist writes, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? It's natural to look up, to wonder, times of distress and anxiety, pressure, worry and fear, to look up. I look up to the hills, from where will my help come? And here's the good theology. It's not 
that my help comes from the hills. It's not from the creation. It's not from human-made things. It's not from anything created, but the psalmist writes, it's from the creator. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Not the hills, the one who made the hills. Not the mountains, the sky, or the sea, but the one who made the mountains and the sky and the sea. That's where my help comes from the Creator, from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And this one holds us secure, writes the psalmist. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The Lord keeps, who keeps you will not slumber. The Lord who keeps Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Promise here, God is paying attention to you. Miraculous thing about God. We have a universal God, a God of all people, all creation, all places, everywhere. Always. We also have a God who cares for you. As Christians, we believe that this care came especially through God's Son, Jesus, whom we call the Christ, our Savior. The Christ who came, this one, cares for you personally. And so there's this image of the keeper who neither slumbers nor sleeps. It's your shade at your right hand at the day. So nothing can strike you by day or night. Constant 24 hour paying attention, God, the creator to you, watching over you the keeper, day and night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. Your life is in God's hands. God who looks upon you with eyes of compassion. He says, you are my beloved. With you I am well pleased. You are my child. And so the gift is grace. God's unconditional, unearned, unending love forever, no matter what, that continues to come to us and come to us and come to us. Bringing acceptance, understanding, forgiveness to us from the Creator the one who created it all, the Lord will keep your life. You're going out and you're coming in. From this time on and forevermore, this idea of you're going out and you're coming in. The psalmist continually reminds us that God is in front of us, behind us, beside us, with us walking with us every step of the way. That's the promise. That's the good news. No matter what, we're not alone. So hear the reading, Psalm 121. This time through, see if there's a word or a phrase, a memory, a cherished moment, something that comes to you in the reading. It just is the word for you this session. Hang on to that. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The Lord who keeps you will not slumber. The one who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. 
The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Rest in that. Breathe in that presence. I'll read through one more time and then we'll have more time of silence. So I'll close with a benediction and a prayer. If you're able after the video ends to remain in silence, I encourage you to do that. This is a time to just be, to be in God's presence, to rest. You don't have to do anything these next few minutes. Don't rest. Be attentive to what God's Spirit is bringing to you. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The one who keeps you will not slumber. The one who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Find that word or phrase, that image. Maybe it's a memory or a thought. Hang on to it. See how it moves you, if it moves you. Rest in the presence of God knowing that you are loved beyond imagination. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord, look upon you with favor and grant you peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.